Today on Outside the Box Reviews, we are taking a look at another one of NECA's ultimate badass Colonial Marines from Wave 2 of the Aliens line. And this is Sergeant Craig Windrix. And if you don't recognize this guy from the movie, well, there's a good reason for that. This figure is actually based on the brother of NECA sculptor Kyle Windrix, and Craig had been diagnosed with a very severe form of stomach cancer and sadly did pass away earlier in February of 2014. But as a tribute to him, while he was battling cancer, NECA had gone ahead and decided to make him the next entry in their Colonial Marines figures. And while this guy definitely isn't movie accurate in any way, shape, or form, he comes with a lot of the same gear we've come to expect with the Marines and some really cool details on them. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. First up, we get yet another motion tracker. Same sculpt that we've had before. It has the rubberized strap on it with all the detail with the buckles and everything. These are all rubber in here, so be very careful with them. You have your readout on the little screen there, which looks so cool. They got such a small detail. A little kind of trigger on the side. All kinds of wires and gizmos and gadgets around here. A little keypad there as well. And I hadn't noticed this with the previous releases, and it's really hard to tell in this camera. But that keypad over there is actually numbered. It's really cool. But lots of great details on this piece. Very, very well done. And he holds it well, or you could sling it over his shoulder. And then next up, we have a brand new weapon. We have the M240 Flamethrower. This is a weapon that's used throughout the film. And one of the coolest weapons they have in the entire movie. And this thing looks great. Looks a lot like the movie prop, though I can't tell from the movie stills if it was actually a green like this. It almost looked a little more blackish, silvery metal looking, but I like the green on it. We've got kind of the cartridge down here for that I assume would hold the fuel. The handle back here, lots of good detail on it. The other side equally well detailed. And then here at the end, we actually have the nozzle. You can see the two little barrels in there, so the top one would be where the flame fuel would come out and the bottom one would be like the pilot light they have in the movie that actually ignites it and causes the flame effect so great attention to the detail really cool and then of course you gotta stick it with the pulse rifle and see ripley's whole concoction from later in the movie it's kind of what your full-on nest invasion death machine's gonna look like now I wonder, because Sigourney Weaver is such an anti-gun advocate, I wonder if she will come with any weapons whatsoever. I kind of doubt her contract will allow it, but it'll be interesting to see if NECA finds some way to release the double blaster kind of weapon that she had at the end. They definitely have the sculpts done for her. They just need to sculpt in a little tape to hold the two together. Just like the other Marines, Craig features his backpack with the vent holes on it, the little hose and the light coming off the top. Same sculpt we've had before again, but well detailed and it works. The big D-shaped peg in the back. Then you just have to line up his armor with the hole in there and it pegs right in. And of course, the accessory I love to forget, the little welder here on his armor is detachable as well, so you could hold that and it will function. And overall, I think the head sculpt on this figure is really, really good looking. I think they did a great job, but what can you expect when it's the guy's brother doing the sculpt? But a lot of great detail. You can see the skin has a good texture to it. Lots of clear details. And one thing I saw somebody point out, I believe on Twitter, that I don't know if it was really an intentional thing with the Aliens line, but the previous figures we've gotten all kind of looked scared or nervous or something like that. And this figure just looks literally like the ultimate badass and has a more stoic i'm just gonna kick this thing's ass kind of look on his face which i think is appropriate for what the tribute's supposed to be they did some great sculpted detail on his hair making it kind of spiky just really really a well done head sculpt and i think it looks really cool and onto his armor we get a lot of the same stuff we've got before but also some differences it's kind of the standard chest armor here but we have of course it says windrix up there at the top has a heart with his girlfriend's name in in it, which is kind of a nice touch. The little eagle metal pinned to him, which I believe is a unique piece as well. Of course, he has the same little add-ons to the front. He has the knife here, and I don't even know what this thing is, but all the Marines have it. The whole armor is, of course, a soft rubberized piece, so it can kind of move around on him. Here on the back, beyond the light fixture, we see some scarring on the shoulder pad, which looks really good. And then down here, he has a little bowling pin thing with some initials in it, which is CRW. I believe that NECA said this was a tribute to the brother's father, who had also passed away recently. So that was a tribute to him. And quite honestly, I haven't heard anyone speak of these two other marks, but NECA has said each and every marking on this costume is very particular to Craig and actually is a tribute to him in some way. 
way. So I don't know what these two stand for, but we can rest assured they were thought out and mean something to him. And unlike our other two Marines, Craig has full sleeves going on here. So we have the American flag and then his sergeant rank patch over here. Then on his other arm, we have the Colonial Marines patch. Very cool looking. The long sleeves look pretty nice. I think this kind of rounds out the body types or the arm types we'll be getting with any of these Marine figures, at least for the men, if we do get more. He also has this tracking bracelet over here. The hands are pretty simple, but well sculpted. They have all the veins in them, and he has the one somewhat open hand on the left and the trigger hand on the right. Got the standard crotch armor here down into the camo pants. Standard shin armor there, but lots of great detailing on all this. I love the straps and the knee pads and all this stuff. NECA's really done a good job with this marine body. And then, of course, the boots, painted eyelets on them, which I love as far as detailing goes. Very well done boots, even though I do think the marine feet are a little too long because of that toe articulation. Speaking of articulation, we have a ball joint at the neck, up and down, left and right, tilt side to side, completely unhindered pretty much. Pin socket shoulders, you go out to the side, forward back, great range there. Bend and swivel at the elbow. The wrist will rotate as well as hinge in and out. The mid torso ball joint with a great range of motion, side to side, up and down, all the good stuff. Legs go forward, back, out to the side. There is the diaper kind of plastic up here to allow full mobility. You can also rotate the upper leg. Great double joint at the knee, a ball joint at the foot, as well as a toe hinge. And overall, I really, really like this figure. I think NECA did a great job on it. I think it's a really touching gesture. Definitely my condolences go out to Craig Wendricks' friends and family, and it really sucks, but this is kind of a cool thing that now he's immortalized as an action figure and will be on the shelves of hundreds and hundreds of collectors, which is kind of neat. And I definitely recommend this figure. It's really great, and despite the fact that he's not an actual character from the movie. It's another solid Marine from NECA. And let's face it, just like Dutch and his team, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get all the likeness rights it takes to build out the entire Marine troops. And we really don't know if it'll ever happen or not. But as a way to get us another Marine out there, I can't think of a better way they could have done it. It's also really cool that we finally got the flamethrower for a Marine, so now we just have that one last gun that's really iconic to the movie that we gotta get. The M56 smart gun. That will be the ultimate thing. And I really do hope we get a Vasquez someday. That would be really cool. Make sure you check me out on Instagram, username outside the box reviews. Also check me out on Facebook, link below. And until next time, it's been another Outside the Box Reviews. Stay tuned for more to come.